Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. And this, well, this is about $60,000 worth of gear that I'm about to pack up to take on an African photo safari with me. Now, what I wanna do is take you on, on a journey through the gear that I'm taking, the bags that I'm taking, and why I'm taking what I'm taking. So let's start with the first things first, my main shooting gear. I've decided to go with two Canon R3s. So two Canon R3s are going with me because I love the lens choices, I love the autofocus more than the Nikon, more than the Sony. I just love the entire system and that's why I'm taking all of this RF glass with me. So we've got a 402.8 RF, that's going. 100 to 300 2.8 goes because it's replacing the need for a 70 to 200 2.8. These are two big lenses to take and that's why I'm gonna show you the bags in just a minute on how I plan on getting this to work. But this just came in the mail. This is a 24 to 105 2.8. Yeah, $3,000 lens. I don't know how many of these are actually out in the world right now, but I'm taking it to Africa with me because I wanna see how it works on a safari. But think about it. You got a 24 to 105, a 100 to 300, a 402.8. You're covering just about everything you need. 28 to 70 always goes with me because it covers your 28, your 35, your 50, and of course your 70, all at F2, and it gives you such an incredible dimension and look when you're shooting with it. The 85 one two, well that's of course to take some portraits, and then why not take a 10 to 20 F4, but, this is a Sony A93. Now it's still on pre-production firmware at 0.9, but being that I have it, it's all set up and ready to go, I wanna see how it's gonna work out in the real world. But what you don't see here are any Sony lenses. Well, that's because a couple of the other shooters who are on the trip with me, they will have the new 300, there will be 400s, there might be even a 600, so I have those lenses accounted for when I go away. So that's why this is just being thrown in the bag as a, hey, I've got it, why don't I shoot it? Of course, I've got extra batteries, the charger for the Canon charger. Think Tank has a bag for everything. These are the bags for two big batteries. So I love having this, for the extras, and I'll carry that along with me. We've got the Canon V10, is that correct, Steven? Yeah, the V10, I like using that as a vloggy camera just to throw in the bag in case I wanna to talk to the camera at any point. That is always good to have. We've got my 16-inch MacBook Pro for doing all of the work that I need to do, iPad for, obviously, for flying, and, and, and my visas. Check out my visa photo. That is, a, that is a really, really nice visa photo that you see right there. I didn't wanna leave home without it because you need a visa to get there. I'm not showing the passport or anything along those lines right now. But this lens hood is gonna be traveling in my checked luggage because it takes up way too much space in the bag and if it gets lost in the checked luggage, I'm not that worried about it even though I'm all about using lens hoods. For the space saving, it's much better to check the lens hoods. I'll just pack clothes inside of it so that it's protected when it's going. But most importantly, memory cards. We've got my Think Tank Pixel Pocket Rockets. They are loaded with a ton of pro-grade digital cards. There's some Sony Tough cards in here, but mostly pro-grade digital. We've got CF Express B, which is for my R3. We have the SD cards from pro-grade digital, which is also for my R3. I've got uh, CF Express A cards for the Sony and the other Sony shooters, because pro-grade sent me some extra stuff to give to those guys. And of course, we also have micro SD cards because those will come in handy with the action cameras and also the V10. Now in terms of storage, everybody wants to know what are you using to back up all of your images? Well, I'm not gonna load it onto the laptop because it's only a two terabyte, I think. Yeah, I only have a two terabyte laptop M1 right there, but I've got a ton of external USB-C flash drives or SSDs. I've got the SanDisk ones, which we've been using for a while, which I can't recommend that anybody uses anymore because everybody from the White House to baseball shooters have had major issues with these things failing and I can't recommend that you get those. Now, thankfully, I, knock on wood, haven't had an issue with these, but I'm taking them, but I'm also taking some of the Samsung 
uh, T9s. These are the new four terabytes. They're not as fast as the SanDisk, but they're pretty damn fast at 2,000 megabytes a second. So I've got four terabytes, four terabytes, four terabytes, and four terabytes. I'm gonna make multiple backups there. I'm gonna save all of my files and leave them on the memory cards and not reformat the cards. And also, as an extra bonus backup, I've got a 1.3 terabyte um, ProGrade Digital CF Express B card. So I've got that. Of course, I've got all the card readers that will go. I'm not showing you everything here. I've got extra USB-C powering banks. We've got stuff from Anchor. This is an old RAV Power, another smaller Anchor one for charging what I need. And this is a 100 watt Anchor brick, which is gonna be really good when I need to charge some USB-C devices. Lens cloths, because you have to have lens cloths. And you also always need to have a Rocket Air for when you need to clean the dust off of your cameras, and some of the other guys are going to have um, sensor swabs just in case we need to get in there and clean up somebody's sensors. I'm also taking my Rode NT-USB-C microphone in case I'm able to do the podcast, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it from there, but at least I'm prepared with my Rode microphone. We have some power blocks here so I can use the, your I, be I believe it's these two-pronged over there where we're going that we'll use, so I'll have be able to charge what I need to charge through this, but also action cameras. It's almost like I have every single Insta360 offering that is new that they have, including, this is their, called their Ace Pro, the Insta360 Ace Pro that came out a day before, well, it came out yesterday, and then, you know, whenever you're watching this, it just came out. But this is their new action cam, so I'll be testing it out in Africa. We've got my Insta360, the one inch 360 camera. That thing I've been using all over the place because I love getting the 360 footage. And I've also got my visor right here, which has the Insta360 Go 3 clip dock thing right here on the front. And that's so that I can see everything and cover as many angles as possible. So we got a bunch of different accessories for the Insta360 stuff right here always have these think tank bags, great with organization, and of course, I need some fuel. I take these, this is a scratch energy bar. This is the pistachio and cherry. So it's cherry and pistachio bars, 260 calories each, great for when you're getting hangry. I, I use these when I ride my bike because it, it's good fuel. So I don't know what I'll be eating over there, but I always wanna have a little bit of extra fuel just in case I get hangry out in the wilderness because I don't wanna go kill a wilder beast or something. Uh, I also will have my protein in individual use packages so I can drink this in the morning to get some extra calories and get started with some protein. Everybody wants to know what bags I'm taking. This right here is the flashlight, no? It's the backlight, not to be mistaken with the flashlight, 36L backpack from Mindshift Gear. This is made by Think Tank. They have another brand called Mindshift. This thing fits everything that I need. The 402.8 goes in here with everything. Oh, I'm waiting for a 200 to 800 that might show up from Canon. If it shows up, it's going with me. Obviously, if it doesn't, then, it, then it's not. I'm hoping that I can take that because that would be an awesome Safari lens to try out and review for you guys. But this is my backpack that will fly on the plane with me. This will go up above. It will also be my laptop bag and a bunch of other accessories. But this is the one that goes on my back and goes up above in um, business class. That's right, we're going business class this time. And then this is Think Tank's airport limo. This will have either my 400 2.8 or the 100 to 300 and 200 to 800 will fit in here together symbiotically, like perfectly. And also I will have a monopod for when I need to use a monopod. And I also will be checking this from Think Tank. This is their waste bag, the Press Pass 20, because when we're in the Safari vehicle, maybe I could put some extra things in here that I might need, whether it's batteries or cards, which I don't expect to run out of uh, storage space, but maybe lens cloths or, or a uh, raincoat, who knows? Whatever I need goes in there. Um, so those are those bags, but right here, this is my Patagonia. This is a Patagonia black hole 55 liter. What's cool about this is my monopods can fit in here and be checked if I would like. I'm not gonna have this much clothes, for real. This is my main taking of stuff because I actually didn't show it to you right here. All of these I Shoot Raw shirts are gonna be going with me. 
These are gonna be my undershirts. Yeah, a lot of purple undershirts. And this is my main attire for what I'll be wearing. I've got these pants that I picked up at REI. They show off my butt really well. They have a built-in belt. So if you need to tighten it, you can go ahead and tighten it. And then I've got the Patagonia vest, uh, like safari wearing shirt here that I put some, you know, custom stuff. We got my eye shoot raw patch. We've got my Fronos photo patch. Oh, and the sleeves do roll up, but I realized there's an issue, Steven. Do you know what that issue is? What? My arms are too damn big that I cannot get the, the sleeves past my biceps. You know, first world problems here, but I can't reach them any higher, so they might restrict or constrict my biceps while I'm trying to shoot. So I didn't really realize that when I was trying it on. Couple of more think tank bags on the ground. These are great for putting my clothes into. There's some laundry type bags. If they're dirty clothes, you can put them back in there. And, and this uh, Sure, yes, S-I-R-U-I -I is called Sure. This is for the Insta360 360 camera. So when we're out of the vehicle, I'm gonna be able to place this down there and it's just gonna record all of us doing what we're doing. So $60,000 worth of gear is going with me to Africa. I don't know if this hat's going with me, but I probably should take it because I do look pretty baller in this safari hat and being Safari Jared is pretty cool. Uh, this is going to be, I hope, a fantastic trip. I'm gonna test out gear, I'm gonna shoot personally, I have ideas for what I wanna capture and how I wanna capture it, but I'm also gonna try and share the experience with you either through vlogging or through Insta stories, but also I will be doing a product showcase of this Ace Pro right here because that's part of the reason for going on the trip. Like, hey, go play with the Ace Pro. Why don't we go to Africa and do it? So any questions? Let me know down below, whatever they are. I'll try to do my best to answer as many as possible when I get a minute to do so. But I thank you guys very much for watching. Jared Polin, sorry. Thank you very much for watching. Safari Jared Polin, fronosphoto.com. See ya.